Batteries for years now had only a few breakthroughs and major developments taking place in the battery making process. For more than a decade, the human race has been stuck with lithium ion batteries. While researchers are hard at work to find a breakthrough battery composition and technology, we are still a long way off from using them. Since the world is becoming very conscious about our environment and turning towards becoming eco-friendly, as well as striving to use and live on recycled products, and are intending to live on renewable energy one day, a lot of us have already started migrating to this idea of clean energy, therefore seeking out products and product makers such as Tesla and many others who are striving to create products that run on renewable energy. Solid state batteries are still at the ground level when compared to lithium ion batteries. Despite expanding research and development and the increased number of startups and battery scientists, mainly in the US, a few early birds in the solid state battery sector feel that this new technology will be viable only within a decade. For many years, lithium ion batteries have been the go-to energy storage solution for electric vehicles. Solid state batteries are difficult to make, but will have many benefits if they're mass produced. Will solid state batteries revolutionize the technology? Of late, the solid state batteries have been getting much traction. For many years, researchers have been trying to come up with something better, lighter, cheaper, and more efficient than lithium ion batteries. It looks like solid state lithium metal EV batteries are running up the trend. In the meantime, there has been a huge price drop in lithium ion batteries from their cost of manufacturing and raw material sourcing from what it was in the early 2000s. The electric car giant Tesla has developed a technology that can cut the cost of its battery pack. During the recent Tesla Battery Day, Elon Musk, the techno king of Tesla, said quote that Tesla is coming up with a technology that is expected to lower its cost per kilowatt hour. This breakthrough is achieved by replacing the tab, a part of the battery that forms a connection between the cell and what it's powering. The new tabs with fewer cells, which Tesla is calling its 4860 cells, will increase the energy capacity of the company's EV batteries by five times, making them six times more powerful and increase its vehicle's range by 16%. The new cells will reduce the cost per kilowatt hour at the cell form factor level. But these cost reductions will not stand the competition the solid state batteries can offer. Solid state batteries are difficult to make, but will have many benefits if they're mass produced. Tesla cars are powered solely by the electrical charge stored in the batteries and are termed battery electric vehicles or EVs. The reason for the existence of Tesla as a company is simply that lithium ion batteries have the highest charge capacity of any practical battery formulation in history and are high enough to make EVs practical. The idea of using lithium ion rechargeable battery cells was first proposed by a British chemist in the early 1970s. Battery cells are deceptively simple devices consisting of three basic components, two electrodes, the negative anode, and the positive cathode, separated by a chemical soup called the electrolyte. Tesla has been using 18650 cells manufactured by Panasonic in Asia in the Model S and X cars since 2013. Some of the key areas that solid state batteries can dominate are renders faster charging times, increases energy density up to two to eight times, maximum range of 500 to 800 kilometers, higher battery life cycle, no fire risk and no toxic chemicals, but other than these factors, is the real problem of using conventional lithium batteries instead of solid state batteries, the power to cost ratio, or something else? Very few investors have any deep knowledge about the difference behind the chemistry behind lithium solid state batteries and conventional lithium batteries. Working of the solid state battery. In a conventional liquid battery, an electrochemical reaction happens within a cathode and an anode through a liquid electrolyte within a porous separator. Usually, the anode is made from silicon or a carbon material. When the cell is charged, the energy is put into the system to drive lithium ions from the cathode to the anode, where they diffuse in the carbon particles that make up the anode. Compared with a lithium liquid battery, a solid state battery can increase energy density per unit area since only a small number of the batteries are needed. For that reason, a solid state battery is perfect to make an EV battery system module and pack which needs high capacity. Researchers have investigated if some different materials within an anode and cathode could help increase the charge density, decrease the charge time, and at the same time prevent degradation of the lithium batteries to make them strong competitors for the existing battery manufacturing companies and innovate the battery electric vehicles. 
One such research paper published by a BMW team says that there can be multiple next-gen cathode materials that can match three different anode materials, lithium, graphite silicon, and graphite. The reason for this limitation is that higher capacity cathodes need correspondingly thicker anodes to hold the increased amount of lithium, drowning out some of the benefits of the cathode improvement. From the previous research, it is well known that lithium metal anodes do not work with conventional liquid electrolytes due to the twin issues of dendrite formation when a battery is being charged and rapid impedance growth from a chemical side reactions between the liquid electrolyte and the lithium metal. Impedance refers to the internal resistance of the cell. Growth in this resistance reduces the energy capacity of the cell as well as its ability to work at higher rates of power. Any material which can reduce dendrite formation and decreases the internal resistance has got the upper hand while manufacturing the lithium solid state battery. Many industries are currently working behind the wall to come up with the most reliable porous separator and solid electrolyte to remove dendrite formations and impedance. The main difference between the batteries is that lithium ion batteries use liquid electrolytic solutions to regulate flow, whereas solid state batteries use a solid electrolyte. The electrolyte is the conductive chemical mixture that allows for a flow of the current between the anode and the cathode. Using a solid electrolyte will provide a smaller size with higher energy density, longer lifespan, and increased safety. Solid state batteries, theoretically, could store twice as much energy as a lithium ion battery. For example, if the battery of the Tesla Roadster were replaced with a solid state battery, it could help double the 620 mile range from its 200 kilowatt hour battery. Will solid state batteries be the next crypto? The biggest challenge of solid state batteries is getting their prices down to where they can compete with the incumbent technology. That will take a while. For many uses, but especially for electric cars, traditional lithium ion batteries won't have much competition. So far, solid state batteries have found application primarily in small milliamp hour batteries. There have been more than a dozen startup companies working towards this technology. After the signing of the Paris Climate Agreement by the US President Joe Biden and his administration, many automotive and battery technology companies have started to invest billions into this technology. China has already funded solid state companies working behind the wall. Currently, finding the right material for solid state batteries is key. While everyone is at a race trying to produce a long lasting and highly powerful and efficient battery, Solid State is the first one to emerge to battle lithium ion. The solid state battery is being researched by a lot of automakers like Samsung and Hyundai, investing in Colorado based solid power. Massachusetts based Ionic Materials has received investments from a fund backed by Nissan, Mitsubishi, and Renault. In fact, Tesla's CTO, JB Straubel, is a board member of QuantumScape. According to Axios, Samsung and Dyson have collectively invested $65 million in Massachusetts-based ionic materials. The firm claims to be making progress in technology. Its new material, a liquid crystal polymer, may be able to solve many of the current issues of mass production. Ionic materials claims that lithium ions move as fast or even faster through their polymer than they would through the conventional liquid electrolyte system. This helps demonstrate the stability of the company's polymer material. Second, the polymer works at 5 volts and can be made simply and cheaply. Third, while most materials in solid state research operate at about 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit, the firm's material works at room temperature. It is evident that solid state batteries are the next big thing. But until it picks up, Tesla is still competitively ahead thanks to its early adoption of the years of research in lithium ion battery making for EVs. What do you think about Tesla's entry into solid state batteries? Let us know your thoughts by leaving a comment in the comment section below.